Greetings everyone, my name is Aerie Steele and welcome to Distrain, a 2D psychological horror game where you play as a man named Price, and Price is looking to forge a partnership between himself and a very famous company by any means necessary. Now the controls in this game are a little unorthodox from what I'm used to playing with, so I will be using WASD for the initial controls, it's E for action, F for another function, and space for another function. I'm moving my mouse around, and as you see, there's absolutely nothing. There's not even a cursor. So this is a little weird from what I'm used to utilizing here in games. So let's start a new game and see what all this is about. This will overwrite any potential save data. Continue anyway. I just started this game, so I don't have any potential save data, but sure, let's overwrite that non-existing data that may or may not be there. My humanity was for sale. And I sold it. That very moment sent me into decay. This is my story. And these are my regrets. Oh, we're already starting off dark. I like this. Oh, I like it already. This is like... It's got a very noir type feel to it. A game by Jesse McCannon. Alright, um, so can I go in these rooms? Is that why they're an exclamation mark? Uh, excuse me. I'm looking for Mrs. Goodwin. She's not here, go away! I guess this is not the one. Alright, so then we shall continue forth. I guess I am just knocking on doors. Anybody home? Huh, who's there? Mrs. Goodwin? N no, she lives next to door. Thank you, goodbye. I don't know why I'm giving them accents. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're like in Chicago or New York or something like that. I'm looking for Mrs. Goodwin. Is this the right address? No! Get lost! Okay. Huh. I could swear she lives somewhere here. Yes, without a doubt. This, it's gotta be one of these doors. So... Hmm. What do I do? Do I just continue knocking? It smells of rotten flesh. I don't think that'd be the door that we want. <laughs> this is not the apartment that you seek. I don't think this is the right door. But it could be. Uh, it smells of blueberry pie. This must be the right apartment. I t told you she doesn't live here. Madam, I know it's you. Could you please let me in? Uh, I'm sorry. C come in, please. Why would you turn me away before? You must know. You must know something. Madam? I know. I'm so sorry I have to do this, madam. Can't you get me a little more time? I can pay the debt if you give me another week, please. I... I'm sorry. I hate doing this. But I must seize this property. But where would I go? This is all I have. I'm sorry, madam. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be crying like this. There are just so many memories here. I understand, madam. Oh, where are my manners? Would you like to have a cup of tea? I'd rather have a cup of coffee if possible. Oh, of course. Give me a second, young man. I apologize if I go back and forth between accents. I don't know why I put them on half the time. I do it just because it's like a tendency of mine for some reason. Might as well look around while waiting. Okay, so... What's this? It's a rocking chair. Every granny has one. It's standard issue. Uh, hello, hello? Anything else of imports? I can't seem to leave. I can't leave now, even if I wanted. Okay, well, there's nothing else to interact with. Oh, wait, what's this? It's a wedding photo of Mr. and Mrs. Goodwin. Though I believe she's a widow now. Aw, oh, man, I shouldn't be doing this. Man, they're like... Whoa! Whoa, what is going on? The walls are bleeding! Why are the walls bleeding? Ma'am, are you a witch? I'm sorry, dear. I'm sorry that my house suddenly started to spill its own grape jelly. I was making sandwiches, you see. I'm such a klutz half the time. I'm afraid I've run out of coffee. Can I get you something else instead? No, thank you, ma'am. Listen, you will have to move out by the end of the month. I'm very, truly sorry, madam. Well, I guess I have only myself to blame. Yes, well, I need to get going, madam. Take care. Wait a second, young man. It's awfully dark out there. 
Take this lantern. I guess I won't be needing it anymore. You got the lantern. Da -da -da. Oh, thank you, madam. I really must go now. Take care. Bye-bye, dear. I have to use the lantern. Whoa. That is rather shiny. Um, so now do I just leave? I guess so. Oh, push the button. Nothing happened. Power seems to be on, though. Weird. I just want to get away from here. Oh. Uh, huh? Granny? I think Granny don't be pissed. This is probably a very bad idea. Yeah, I concur. In we go. Apartment 213, the living room. Oh, what do we have here? Nothing interesting here. Okay. Uh, the strength does not auto-save your progress. To save the progress, visit the save points. Oh, so this is a save point. Okay, I saved the progress. So the save point is in A. I gotcha. It's locked. I need a key. Ah, of course. Oh. Ah. Uh. Whoa, did you blow your own brains out? I turn it off if there, if there was a power button. Uh. Oh, shit. There's a note. What comes around goes around. Fuck it. Okay. Not solid words to live by, but... You do you, which you done did. Oh, there is a... Oh, I'm in a bathroom now. Oh, shit, it's freezing in here. So what do I do? Where do I go? Nothing? Just a room to enter? Okay. Cool, I guess. What the hell was that? I don't know. But it sounded big and it sounded angry. What was that? It's an old oven. Okay, cool. I mean... That's it? There's nothing to do in here? It's empty. And... Wait, where am I going? Okay, I guess that's... It? It's locked. I need a key. Okay, well, if I need a key, then... Huh. So what if I go to these other doors? No, nothing. And I can't... Yeah, I can't use that. Okay, so I have to go back through this door, then. Ooh, this is, uh... It's a little disheartening. I don't like it. Yep, that's the locked door. Okay, yeah, yeah, I need the key. Da 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 da. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, let's go back in here. There was nothing else of import unless something changed in the bathroom. Hmm, I don't need to pee. Okay, cool. I'm glad that we can acknowledge that. Anything in the sink? There's something in the bathtub. A key, perhaps? Let's see. Ugh, it's cold. There! I found an ice cube! This might come in handy. What? How? Um... Wait, how do I... How do I do that? Uh, press E to select the item you found. Oh, okay. Press space. Uh, when you have the item active, Price will attempt to use the item whenever interacting. Try to use the ice cube with the bathtub. I won't put it back there. If you want to search or examine objects and surroundings, open your inventory and select an empty sli item slot. Oh, okay. I don't need another ice cube. So, uh, what the hell? I am not understanding this at all. It's empty. I don't even know what that is. A desk? That it? It's an old oven. Can I use the oven on the thing? Yeah, I wonder if there's something inside this ice cube. Oh, maybe a frozen key. I'll stick it in the oven. Cool. And now we wait. All right, let's see. I knew it. I found the key in the ice cube. I mean, I could have just sucked on the ice cube and it probably would have done the same job, but... I mean, I guess we have to be intuitive here. The body is gone. Why is the body gone? 
And I'm gonna save it. Just to be on the safe side. Things are getting a little freaky right off the bat. Talk to an old lady, telling her she's in her property. That sound again. And the walls start to bleed. And now there's blood on here. Uh, stock markets, economy trading. There are lots of books about money. It's empty. There's something here. Finders keepers, you found a horror book. Oh, that's pleasant. So, do I put the horror book in with this? So many books about money. I don't think this is the right place for this book. Uh, nah, I'll keep the book for myself. What about here? This looks like a curtain, right? No? Nothing. Oh, then. Where would I use this book? This is rather weird. Nah, I'll keep this book for myself now. Oh, maybe right here? This book cake is full of horror books. I'll place the book here. Huh? What's that? Another book popped out. Finance book. I think I know where to put this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Please don't do that. Now, it might be a little late to point this out, but I have absolutely no idea what this game is about. Other than it's a mystery horror. And I have no idea if I can die or get attacked by anything. Uh, let's see. Finance book removed. Done. Oh, it opens the curtain. That's very Resident Evil-esque of you. But one can agree. Hi? McDade, Burton, and more. Here to give you some money, some jazz tips, and a little go good fashion time. Son! Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, okay, they were kind of talking in unison, I guess. McCade, Bruton, and more. We've already heard you kicked that expired fart out. Well done, son. A job well done, son. You passed your first trial. Happy to hear that, sirs. Although, Mrs. Goodwin seemed like a very nice old... Nonsense! 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 There's no injustice in the law. You did the right thing, son. One could argue on that, but I will not. Soon you will be one of us. One of us. One of us. <laughs> one of us. One of us. McDad, Burton, Moore, and Price. I like the sound of it. Thank you, sirs. Are you ready to make some serious money? Money, 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 that bling bling. Make it rain, son, make it rain. I guess I am. You have only two more names to take care of. Seize their properties in the name of the law. I am the law. In the name of the law. The name of the law. I fought the law and the law one. And you shall be granted a partnership. I will. That's the spirit, son. Off you go now. Oh, you're not gonna repeat each other? Okay, cool, thanks, bye. I mean, could I just like, you have plenty of bags. Could I just like throw one over my shoulder and just be on my way without having to evict anybody else and ruin lives? No? Okay, I guess I'll just continue my newfound career as a con artist. I felt both joy and sorrow. Soon I would get my partnership, but at the price of my humanity, would it be worth it? No, it wouldn't. All right, let us save one more time. Ooh. Oh, hi. Uh, <laughs> hi. Huh? How did it get here? There's another note. There's an elephant in the room. I know that saying. Ah. Uh... Oh, shit. Run. Hi, Granny. Oh, it's getting closer. It's getting closer. Pride, shame, 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 ding, 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 vanity. Uh, sure, if you say so. I don't like this elephant. Dumbo, go away. Dumbo, leave me alone. Dumbo, no. I can't escape the elephant. And my light's getting redder. I am doomed. What do I do? <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. I'm dead. Okay, that was getting ridiculous towards the end there. What the fuck is going on? I had like a Game of Thrones moment. Ah, uh, is it morning already? What a day that was. I still feel horrible about Mrs. Goodwin. 
Oh, well, I need some coffee to wake up. Alrighty then. Uh, he's got a goofy little walk cycle. Uh, I don't want to go out that way. Um, what's in here? Anything good? Uh, all sorts of weird junk here. Okay. The roof is leaking. I'm happy it isn't raining today. Lousy apartment. Well, pretty soon I'll be able to find more. I need coffee first. I'll just suit up later. Oh, okay. So this leads to the kitchen, I hopes. Ah, yes it is. Yes it is. It's empty. Why do I even have these drawers? I don't know. It's on the TV. Coffee first. Dude, you can put on the TV, listen to it while you go get coffee. God, you freaking caffeinated alcoholic. Ah, coffee. There, you happy? I need some water for the coffee. Oh, come on. Really? Got a coffee pot. Yay. Where's the water? Not long anymore. And I get to move out from this dump. Okay. Uh, I don't think so. So where do I get water? Uh, I need water for the coffee. What? God damn it. Wait, is this the bathroom? Maybe? Or is this the front door? No, there's the bathroom. Okay, water from the sink. Maybe I'll get some water here. Ah, I want coffee! I need caffeine! And it started raining. Are you kidding me? One of those mornings, I swear to you. I swear to me, Mom. The water is off. Okay, cool. Can I get it from the toilet, maybe? Hmm, I really need my caffeine. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the things you will do for that morning boost. Nobody needs to know. No, I still have a little dignity left. Well, but... Oh, I can get water. It's raining, so I can get it from uh, the leaky roof, then. That makes sense. That's using the old noggin. See, there we go. Not sure how, how uh, hygienic this is, but man, I gotta get his coffee. Uh, there. I have some water now. Cool, awesome. So now we go put on a fresh pot. Put on a fresh kettle, as it were. If you were in the good old country of England. But that would be for tea, not for coffee. Because we're not dirty Americans. Well, I am. Not English people. They're English. They're their own special type of dirty. Anyway, I'll put a little water here. Okay, I'll watch some telly while the coffee is brewing. Oh, maybe we are in England. Because no one in America calls it the telly. It's definitely an English English term. Oh, yeah, it's thundering. I shouldn't risk it. Oh, come on. Ooh, what was that? I, I just asked, what was that? I think it came from the bathroom. Did I spring a faucet? Hello? There's nothing here. Must be my imagination. The coffee should be ready by now. What about the toilet? I have a superb bladder. I can hold it for a day or two. That's not healthy at all. Whoa! Hi? Who are you? I didn't want to go into the door. I wanted to talk to the big-headed people that are drinking my coffee. <laughs> you are right, dear. How silly that day was. Oh, look, dear. It's our little boy. Mom, Dad, what the hell? I can see that, hon. He's right here. His head's as big as ours. You can't miss it. My God. Hey, son, do you mind we took some coffee already? Although it, oh, though it tastes a little funny. No, not at all. Are you all right, dear? You look so pale. Aren't you supposed to be, you know, dead? Yeah, dead. <laughs> of course we're dead. We're part of your subconscious, you guilty, guilty bastard. What a silly thing to say. But even though we are already gone, does it make you crazy to hear our words of wisdom? I suppose not. And that's exactly why we are here. I like that I'm giving the parents accents, but I'm just a plain speaking person. So listen to us, son, and let your conscience do the talking. Sounds reasonable. We heard some, well, unpleasant things about you, dear. That is correct. We're worried about you, me and your father. Are you getting greedy, son? It's not too late to make a change, it isn't. Look, I'm not proud of all the things I've done, but look at this cranky apartment. I just want to be successful in my life. We understand, son. But all the at, but at the expense of other people, it's inhumane. Think about it, son. You are better than that. I ought to slap you upside your big fat head. You wanker. I don't know. I've worked hard for this. Uh It's raining blood. Why? I'm looking for Mrs. Goodwin. 
Is this the right address? Huh? What the hell is going on? Uh, it's definitely raining blood, and now it's leaking into the apartment. Okay. Hold it together, man. Hold it together. You're not going crazy. It's only my mind playing tricks on me. Yes, it must be. Nothing more. I just didn't have my caffeine. My parents drank it all. That's okay. My long, dead, dead parents. They drank the caffeine that I needed so prudently to make sure I, that I didn't go crazy. That's all. <laughs> okay, I better get dressed. Make it so. All right, trousers on my head, jacket on my pants. Got it. It was rough for yesterday, but I decided to carry on. Though I would lie to you if I said I didn't think of Mrs. Goodwin. Anyways, Mr. Taylor was the next name on my list. He lived in a forest as a hermit. He had no debt. No debt. I don't know why I'm jumbling over my words. I just can't read tonight for some reason. He had no debt, but the city wanted to expropriate his property. They built a highway there. I traveled to him so I could seize his property. Man, I don't like this. I got a stupid little hat on, too. It doesn't even fit my head. No trespasses. Yeah. You shall not pass. Oh, wait, you passed the sign. Okay, never mind. Come in. It doesn't always... It doesn't work. I don't have a gray robe or a long beard or a wooden staff. I just have a stick that I poke squirrels with. This cabin should be somewhere around here. Okay, cool. I have to remember to, like, get rid of the text because it doesn't disappear on its own. I have to manually engage and progress the story itself. Let us auto-save because this has been a weird experience thus far. Ah, oh, there it is. I don't know why I'm giving him a fucking accent again. This is Price. I'm looking for Mr. Taylor. Hello? Either he's not at home or he's ignoring me. I need to talk to him. It's locked. Great. Peek into the window. It's a firewood stack. Astute observation. Is he in the shed? It's locked. Okay, cool. So, we're just trolling through the woods. Hello there, Mr. Hobo Man. Hello. You must be Mr. Taylor. I am. My name is Price. Nice to make acquaintance. Please drop the act and let me hear your threats. I know why you're here. Threats? No, no. How about reasoning? You see, the city would build a highway here. It would bring lots of new people and tourism to the city. And a lot of money, too, or am I mistaken? Well, that's exactly the problem with you people. Money is your king. You don't know how to think for your fucking selves. Where's your compassion? This is my home, not yours. The squirrels are my neighbors. That was my wife. Now leave. Sir, it's been quite a long day already. Everything is already prepped. And don't forget we are offering you a very fair compensation. And if you refuse, we will have to expropriate your property. I guess I have no options but to bend over and let you drill me from behind. Which is exactly what I was going to do with my wife as soon as you left. But I'm the one in the corner now. There, you got me. I hope you're happy. Was it as good for you as it was for me? Because I can assure you, it fucking wasn't. I'm sorry, sir. Nah. Sorry, kid. I know you're just doing your work. Sir, if there's anything I could do... There is something, actually. You bend over. It's your turn, you little shithead. It's getting chilly out here. Let's talk in my cabin. Here, take this key. I'll follow you shortly. Oh, and while you're at it, could you make a fire to the fireplace? Of course. Thank you, sir. All right. He's probably gonna, like, run up and stab me in the back. No one will expropriate my property if the man's dead. They'll never know. I'll make him into the fire instead. <laughs> I unlocked the door. Ooh, it's a very nice looking cabin. A little musky. A moose head. Just ashes here. I need to make a fire. Oh, I gotta get the log. I forgot to do that. I forgot I could hold multiple things. Uh, it's firewood stack. I've taken some firewood. Good, good. Thing is, do I have anything to light it with, though? Put the firewood here. Or now I just gotta find me a light. Ooh, candle, maybe? Yeah, no. Oh, that was for the door. Anything over here? Ooh. Another door. Whoa, this is a pretty big cabin. 
Um. Anything? What's that? Dog food and water bowls. Aw, oh, nothing interesting here. But he's got puppies! I want to pet the pupper. Oh, I'm like going places I don't even think I should go. Hold on. Uh, there's something. Matches, perfect. Ah, okay, so now I'll head back. I'm kind of curious to like start looking through these. I don't know if I can even go. Oh, I can. Okay. Oh, this is just the bathroom. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Back through this door. It looks like there's, like, blood sprayed across the doors. Or is that just the graphics of the door itself? Here it goes. Damn it. The firewood is moist. <laughs> he said it. And I had to say it, too, because I'm reading it. How many people hate that word? I don't care. It's just a word. Get over it. I need something that ignites easily. A paper, perhaps? Okay, so I guess I am doing some exploring. I have to find me some paper. What is in here? Uh, what is that? No way, I'm not pyromaniac. Uh, okay, I don't know what the hell it was going after. Trying to burn the trash cans and can't... Really ain't my thing. Ain't my thing, yo. I'm really fond of puzzles, but I don't need to burn... Okay, let me just, um... Hold on. Let me get rid of this. Just so, like, he can properly engage things. Crossword, search word... He seems to like puzzles. I like puzzles. Anything over here? No? Okay, well, this is his bedroom, so there's nothing of import. It's a trash can full of papers. I don't think he needs these. Ah, see? Now, if I had the lighter unequipped, I could have gotten that a lot sooner. And put them in. Cool, awesome. And then we do this, and then that, and then this. This should do. Aha! Look what I've created. I've made fire. I am the pinnacle of man. Hi. How you doing? Look like you had a cut under your eye. Something happened? Did you have a fight with your wife? If she caught you, could you try stealing her nuts? Ah, I see you made a fire. Good, thank you. My pleasure. It's so dark in here. Yes, there's no electricity. I do live in a log cabin out in the middle of the woods, you know. But back to topic. See, my dog has gone missing. And you want me to find him or her? Her. It was quite a mysterious disappearance. How so? Well, she was here, then I went to bed last night. And as far as I'm aware of, she can't open doors. And yet she has gone at the break of dawn. Unless she somehow discovered the means of evolution and has developed opposable thumbs. I don't think she was let out on her own. Uh, then she must be inside. So I thought, but I can't find her anywhere. It's not a big cabin, though you have seen multiple doors. It's quite weird, honestly. I can't figure it out myself. If I find her, I'll happily sign any papers you have. You got yourself a deal, sir. I'll start my investigation. Good luck, kid. Alright, so... Now we are on the search of the missing canine. So I was already in there, which I believe was his bedroom. It's locked. I can't go anywhere else. Can I like these? Yes, no, nothing of interest here. This was another means to the cabin. What is this? Oh yeah, dog food. Nothing of interest. Um, I didn't go through these, correct? I don't believe I did. Uh, anything in here? It's a bathtub. It's quite a strong smell to it. Perhaps maybe he used it as a latrine. It'd be gross, because he's got a toilet. But hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Um, oh! Hi! So... Wait, was there another way over here? No, there was not. Alright, so let me go outside. And move my investigation in this direction. What about this one? It's locked. I need him to give me a key so I can get through these unlocked doors and see what's inside. Because it's thinking. I'm thinking. There might be a dog corpse there. Nope, can't do nothing here, huh? That's as far as I go? Really? Hmm... Quite curious. That one's locked. Okay, can't do nothing there. I wonder if I could talk to him again. I'll go off to the left here and see if I find anything different. Maybe something changed. But uh, first, let us save our progress. Hello, hello? Puppy Pup, are you out here? You didn't even give me a name, so I can't call you by it. I will just call you Paparita. Because you're a girl, and it's a girl's name. I just made it up. Oh, 
Papa Rita, where is you? No trespassers. Nope, still going that way, and I can't go further along. Hmm. So, I need to figure out how to get through these locked doors. That seems to be the only way I can progress. And I don't know if he has a key or not, which... I'm surprised I didn't bring that up to him, and he also didn't acknowledge giving me a key and being like, Here, there's a couple locked doors around, so maybe that'll help you in your search. I'm gonna see if I can talk to him again. Maybe that'll bring something up. Hello, hello? Can I, I can't even talk to you ever anymore, huh? Nope, that about does it. Well then. So are you sure the moose is not your dog? Okay. This dog's bed smells like piss and soap. Might be important. I'll ask Mr. Taylor about this. Ah, a clue. Piss and soap, which means the dog probably peed on it. He didn't have a proper means of cleaning it, so we just rubbed it down with soap. I noticed that the dog bed smells funny. Yeah, we had a little skunk accident yesterday. Oh, the smell. Anyways, we spent a good hour scrubbing the stink away. Lots of water and lots of shampoo. Tomato juice actually works best. That explains the smell. I was going to talk as him, and I went, wait a minute. The text is not orange. I'm sure this helps. I'll look into it. Okay, so a skunk problem. So, I didn't run into a skunk out here. Let's see. Maybe a skunk will show? I don't know. This background noise is getting... Oop, nope, that's the fireplace. Hmm. I think I'm just going to continue the investigation inside because I don't think there would be anything else out here. That's still locked. Okay, okay. Alright. Let's head back into here. Maybe there's another clue. Ah, the hallway. Very nice. And this was his bedroom, right? Yes, it was. Alright, it's a dog's bed. It smells oddly horrible. Nothing interesting here. Crosswords and searches. Nothing to do with the bed. Okay, so now let us check the next door down. And see what it is that we can possibly find. Oh, this one's locked. That's right. Okay, so I can't do anything here. Nothing of interest in that drawer. Let's head around here. Hello, Mr. Skunk. Going back through this way. What about this door? Uh, that's the bathroom again. Alright, I guess is where he washed his dog. It still reeks. Okay, let me think. If the dog's bed already stinks that bad, I wonder how the dog would I wonder how the dog would smell like. I think I should follow her scent. So Oh I see. Interesting. Whoa! That wasn't interesting. Um Oh, oh, oh. In here? Ha! There's a hole in this door. The dog must have gone through here. The door is locked with a combination lock. I can't follow her. I'll talk to Mr. Taylor. God damn it. Now I need a combination lock to go open the goddamn door so I get the goddamn dog. And now I got a dark damn blood monster coming after me. God damn it. There's a locked door in the hallway. Where does it lead? Why? Well, there's a hole in the door. I believe the dog has gone through there. Hmm. That would make sense. There's an old underground cellar behind that door, but I haven't used it in years. I could take a look, but I need a combination for the lock. Oh, yes. What was it? Um, it's so long, you see. Uh, I'm afraid I've forgotten the combination, but I'm no fool, so I have a backup. That's great. Where can I find it? See, I love puzzles of all kind. I believe I hid the combination in one of the puzzles. If I remember correctly, the word you'll need is tree. Yes, that's the word. Okay, I'll take a look. Hey kid, thanks for going through the trouble. Don't worry about it. I am going to die. There's no way this man of any, in any way, shape, or form is going to be like, Yeah, you help me find my dog. I'm going to, you know, just go along with whatever it is you, you know, you're going to do and evict me from my house. So, tree, this must be the puzzle he meant. Oh, hold on. So, all right, let's see. I see the T, but I'm just scanning to make sure that there's, there isn't more than one. Okay, so T is five. R, 
Oh, there's a lot of R's, though, so how would I do this? Do I actually have to spell the word tree? Oh, yes, I do. Okay, so I see. It's right there across. That was easy. So five, five, six, seven, eight. That's, that's exactly what I need. Okay, cool. Awesome. That was easy. Ah, let's see. Um, okay, so can I... Hold on. Oh, here we go. Uh, and then... How do we do... Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Done. Over. Five, six... Oops. Seven. And... Eight. Uh, God damn it. Seven and eight. And enter. Got it. I don't know why I thought it was five, six, seven, seven for some reason. Hello, Poochie. Let's me save here, because... This is getting really, really creepy, and I'm actually going to pause it right here and leave it on a little bit of a cliffhanger. This is really interesting, though. Very simplistic design, and I will point out that there is a bit of a theme going here with the 2D horror games, but trust me, it's not going to stay like this. I am going to mix it up. I'm just doing this for the first week of the month of October. So things will get a little more first-person-esque, and things will get a little more frightening, a little more scary as I delve deeper into more popular and higher end horror games but anyway i'm gonna pause it right here thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video then thrust your mouse upon that like button keep playing it awesome and i will see you all on my next adventure